In this video, I will be talking about the floor joist and how it might impact your plumbing layout or in a situation where the plumbing needs to be concealed in a floor. So let's go ahead and get started with our conventional framing lumber, our standard lumber. And I think the most important thing you need to consider here will be the height of the floor joist. And that will make more sense as we go through the video. So for standard construction lumber, they do not want you to drill any holes in the bottom two inches or upper two inches of the joist. And some good examples of damaged floor joist from people who don't know what they're doing can be found all over the internet. Where someone is trying to drill a hole or notch a floor joist for a large plumbing pipe in a 2x6 floor joist. So in a four foot span here with a two by eight, we are almost maxing out. Once we slope the pipe a quarter of an inch per foot. So here I have a two inch pipe and the two inch pipe is going to have almost a two and a half inch diameter on the outside. And if we need to have the top of the fitting below the top of the floor framing, then there's a good chance we're not gonna be able to get the plumbing to go through a two by eight floor joist. And if that's the case, we're going to need to use larger lumber if we can. If you're dealing with an existing situation, then you're not going to have much of a choice. And we'll need to figure out a different way to install the plumbing. So here we have a 2 by 12. Here's our 2 inches. Here's our 2 inches. You can see where we got plenty of room. And with something like this, we could probably install a 3 inch pipe and a toilet without a problem. And by now you're probably starting to get a pretty good idea how the height of the floor joist or the trusses or open web trusses is going to make it a little easier for a plumber to install the plumbing. And the number one thing I want you to look at right here is this two inches. The two inch area we're not allowed to drill a hole into because on the open web framing and the truss joist, we're going to be dealing with an inch and a half section we're not going to be able to drill into. So let's go ahead and raise the pipe. Again, we're not going to have a problem if we need to raise the pipe a little bit or even run it through a few more joists. And another thing we can do with construction standard lumber, according to the code books, will be to install the pipe in this section of the floor joist, where we won't be able to do that with the truss joist. And the last thing I want to mention is that there is a formula for the maximum diameter hole. It will be one third of the depth of the floor joist. And to figure that out, you're just simply going to take the depth of the floor joist and divide it by three. And that will be the maximum diameter of the hole you can drill through the joist in this section right here. And I won't be talking about notching the top or the bottom of the floor joist because most of the time you can't get any pipes in the maximum space allowed by the building codes. Next up, let's take a look at the truss joist where you will not be able to drill a hole within 12 inches from the face of the wall framing, the face of the beam, face of the support that the weight of the truss joist will be bearing on. And most of the time that measurement is going to be 12 inches. However, it can be a lot larger. You will need to check with your span chart for the truss joist to figure out what that measurement is going to be for your floor framing system. And you can locate the pipes anywhere between the top and the bottom cord. And the biggest no-no here for the truss joist will be that you cannot cut the top or the bottom cord can't notch it, nick it, anything. You've got to leave them totally intact like they came from the factory. Next up, the open web framing. And I've heard a lot of builders talk about how awesome these are, especially for anyone who needs to run anything through the floor framing. And of course, the number one reason for that would be the fact you don't need to drill any holes. And most pipes can be positioned away from the webbing and the upper and lower cords because you're not allowed to cut any part of the truss joist. And even though these wouldn't be my preferred choice as a builder, however, I believe most plumbers, electricians, as well as heating and air conditioning contractors would prefer open web floor trusses over almost anything they would have to drill a hole through. 
And feel free to share your opinions with us about either of the three different types of floor joists in the comment area.